Some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium and turned the people against the apostles. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town thinking that he was dead. It's the way our first reading began today. Stone being, uh, Paul being stoned, they thinking that he was dead. When opposition happens in our lives, when things don't go as planned, we can have the temptation to run away, to give up, to say it's all too difficult. And especially when we start proclaiming Christ to others, if, if someone opposes us or um, ridicules us or hurts our reputation, or even perhaps to the point, maybe not in this city, but in other parts of the world, perhaps of, of bringing things to, to literally hurt our bodies, like it happened to Paul, to literally have stones and they thought that he was dead, unconscious on the ground. The response for us can be to get up and walk away. To give up. To say it's all too difficult. What does Paul do? They thought he was dead. And we're told, Paul stood up and he went back to the town. He got up. He didn't say, I'm not going to stay in this town. I'm getting out of here. He got back up and he went back, fixed up his wounds and continued the mission. This is a man of courage. And this is what Christians, this is what we receive when we have the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon us. We receive a gift of courage. Not to sort of have the courage to get up and just say something nice and the first, the first opposition we have, we run away. No, we have the courage to get up and continue to proclaim Christ and to continue to live the way of the Christ, the way of Christ, even in the midst of opposition. And that's the way of St. Paul. It's a little scary. I'm sure it's scary for Cardinal Zen, who's a, Hong, a cardinal from Hong Kong who was arrested last week, simply because he was gathering with a few other Christians trying to support democracy in that part of the world. He might be very well taken to mainland China and who knows what will happen with that. Persecution and opposition to the Christian faith happens today. These are not just things that happened 2,000 years ago. Paul doesn't give up. We're told at the beginning of this reading that the Jews had whipped up people from Antioch and Iconium and they had turned the people against the apostles. Later in this reading, we're told that Paul then goes to Iconium he goes to preach to the very place where they had whipped up people against him to come and stone him to death. After he has the courage and the strength again to go, he goes back to the place where they had brought these people against him and he goes to preach in that place. And eventually, as we're told, after visiting a number of other places, he arrives in Antioch where they had started the first Christian community, but there was great division there. And he goes to support the Christians but also to continue to proclaim the resurrection of Christ in the midst of difficult and perilous situations. Let's be courageous in our faith, in sharing it with others, even if we're going to have opposition. The love of Jesus Christ wins all the time. Sometimes the world doesn't accept the love of Christ. Let's continue to proclaim the love of Christ in every context, to our families, to our relatives, to our neighbours, to our local community. Let's not be afraid, but let us be like St Paul. Let us be courageous. And when we get knocked down, let's get up again and continue to proclaim the resurrection, the good news of Jesus Christ.